Hello again. Good morning, uh, my dear Matthew 5 students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. So today is uh, 1st of February, Monday, uh, the second month, the first day of the second month of this year, 2021. So last week, we all, uh, started already about finding the arithmetic mean for group data. Nah? Now again, for this group data, we just only uh, group the row scores, okay, and find its arithmetic mean. So we have here more examples for you uh, to understand about this lesson, okay? Now uh, we have here the given. So given the scores obtained by uh, from a math quiz. Now these are the scores, okay? So we have how many here? We have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are 24, 24 uh, data that we collected. Okay, now for this one, uh, we're going to divide this into five groups and create a frequency table. Nah? And lastly, we're going to find the arithmetic mean or the mean. Okay, so first, uh, we need to find the uh, range for this data. Now, what is the formula again in uh, finding the range? That is... What? Maximum minus minimum. Okay? The maximum value minus the minimum value. Okay? So we're going to figure out from the data that we have here, what is the maximum value or the scores that we collected or the minimum uh, score that we collected. And that is, we have... Oops. So we have here first the... The formula, the formula for the range is maximum minus uh, the minimum value. Now the maximum score that we have is, we have there 22, and the uh, minimum value is 4. Okay, so we're going to substitute only this uh, two scores here in our formula for the range. And uh, we have there 22 minus 4, and uh, that is 18. Okay, next is we're going to use... It says here that we're going to divide this into five groups, nah? so that we will know uh, what would be the class interval. Now, we're going to find the class interval. That would, be the, that would be the range divided by the number of groups. Okay? So yeah. for this one, we get uh, 3.6 or that would be 4. Nah? So we're going to run it off, but to the next, to the next whole number. So even though that we have the decimal like 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, still we go to the next whole number. Nah? Okay, so now we're going to create the frequency table. So here I prepared already, I created already the frequency table together with the scores and everything. This one. So we have the frequency table. On the first column, you will see here the scores. Now remember that our uh, minimum value is 4. So we're going to start with 4 as our minimum value. And our class interval is uh, 4, right? So 4 to 7, there will be 4, 5, 6, 7. Nah? So for each classes here, remember that this will be divided into 5 groups or 5 classes. So here we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now when I say groups or classes, they're just the same. Nah? So for the first group, or the first class, the interval is 4. 4 to 7 is 4. 18 to, uh, 8 to 11 is 4. 12 to 15 is 4. 16 to 19 is 4. 20 to 23 is 4. Okay, and there are 5 groups here, or 5 classes. Now next is the second column is the frequency. Okay, so usually we do the tally first to account how many. How many uh, scores got for this range? 4 to 7. Okay? So this one, I, I counted already. There are 5. There are 5 scores within this range. 4 to 7. Okay? Or there are 8 scores within this range of 8 to 11. Or there are 5 scores that 
within the range 12 to 15 and 4 for 16 to 19 and there were two scores with the uh, range of 20 to 23 nah? and uh, next is we go with the midpoint okay or the value of x so we cannot use all of this uh, data here so we're going to go with the midpoint as their value for that class like for 4 to 7 what is the midpoint for 4 to 7 that is 5.5 .5, the midpoint na do not round off if 5.5 5.5 so for the second class or second group that is 9.5 then for the third group 13.5 then for the fourth group we have 17.5 the last one is 721.5 okay ask the midpoint that's the midpoint or the value of x now the next column or the last column is we're going to multiply the frequency times the midpoint okay f times x so just multiply 5 times 5.5 that is 27.5 8 times 9.5 is 76 5 times 13.5 is 67.5 we have 4 times 17.5 is 70 2 times 21.5 is 43 okay so we completed already all the data that we need for the frequency table now the next one is to find the arithmetic mean or the mean now in order to to find the arithmetic mean is we need the sigma of the fx or the summation or the sum of the product between f and x divided by the total number of data okay so we have here in the next, we have here this one this is the sigma for the uh, product of f times x which is 284 we just add this add addition and we got 284 and for the number of data we just add all the frequency this one and that is a uh, 24 okay we're going to uh, substitute here to the formula sigma or the x bar the uh, is equal to the sigma of fx divided by n so we have there the value of sigma fx and n we have there 284 divided by 24 and that would be 11.83 so therefore the the average mean or the mean for this data that we collected for the scores obtained is 11.83 now you don't understand my question okay so we go to the next example we have here this one so here we have complete the frequency table below and find the arithmetic mean so we have here already a table and we just only need to complete the value and find the arithmetic mean now so uh, you will see here in the third column that is missing we need to uh, fill in the value for the midpoint remember that x is the midpoint of the scores that we have here right okay so what is the midpoint for 8 to 11 that is 9 then 11 to 13 is 12 14 to 16 is 15 and 17 to 19 that is 18 okay so we have here already the fx so again remember fx is just we multiply f times x now we completed already the the frequency table and we can find now the arithmetic mean but first uh we're going to add first get the sigma of fx the product of fx so we just add 27 plus 60 plus 15 plus 108 or that would be sigma fx is equal to 210. on the other hand we're going to uh, find first the value of n the sum of the frequency n would be equal to 15. na okay my okay now we were going to find the arithmetic mean using the formula again now we have there the formula x bar is equal to sigma fx divided by n okay so we just substitute the value of sigma fx and uh, the value of n there 210 divided by 15 and 210 divided by 15 is 14 okay so that is the arithmetic arithmetic mean for the data that we collected here in our frequency table now remember that for group data it's not only one value that we are accounting here so all of this frequency all of this data that we collected 15 
15 data, their arithmetic mean is 14. Na? Arithmetic. Together, you see, uh, there are 3 data which are uh, within this range. So, for the range, we just assume to be 9 as their midpoint. So, we cannot account all of those. So, by the use of the midpoint, as we group this data, so we assume that this belongs to 9, to 12, to 15, to 18. Na? And therefore, uh, this is the arithmetic mean for those values. And that is 14. Question. Your question, Mai? Did you understand? Hopefully. So again, um, uh, we have here, again, uh, uh, exercise that we're going to answer. Hopefully that this time uh, you can create the frequency table correctly. Because in the last exercise that we have, uh, many of you got uh, the frequency table wrong. No? I told you I, I included in the problem that you need to divide that in this group. But what you did, the number of group is the class interval. No? The number of group is the number of classes. This is the classes. It's one. One, two, three, four. There are four classes for this. No? One class, second class, third, fourth. No? For the class interval, that is the class interval that you're going to divide. The range divided by the, 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 the number of groupings, that is the class interval. So, that is 9 to 8, uh, 8, to 8, 8 to 10. There are 3. Okay? 11 to 13 are 3. That is, 3 is the class interval. Na? 3 is the class interval. Okay? For each class. For each class. For each class. Na? So, again, I hope so that um, for this activity, all of you will uh, can create the correct frequency table. And you can input all the data need needed as well as you can get the correct arithmetic mean for that uh, data. So we have here the, the exercise. This one. So this is the following are the scores obtained by some students from Matayong 5. So these are the scores. And we need to divide this into five groups. So five groups or five classes. Okay and create a frequency table and find its arithmetic mean. Na? So again, you're going to find a range, then divided by the number of groups, you will get the class interval and create the frequency table and find the arithmetic mean. Okay, Mai? Did you understand? Okay, so if you don't have any question, that's all for today and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!